Good morning, how are you? Uh, I'm going to be talking today about this uh, little gadget, um, the electric lunchbox. It's something I've resisted for a long time. I felt I just don't need any more gadgets. And a good friend of mine, Chris Taylor, introduced me to it. So I've done the review from in the cab and I just wanted to do the introduction here. And just to say, you know, stuck in a truck is all about you. It's all about helping you lose weight, okay? This is something that I really believe in now, having bought it. I think the one thing that I've found with my weight loss is there's good food to eat that's good for you. <laughs> there's good food to eat. And I think it's finding a balance. It's, I think I say in some of the recipes, you know, if you ain't going to like it, you will not eat it. And if it's however good for you, the food stuff is, if you don't like it, you'll fuck it off. Right? This is a way of having quality food when you're out on the road. And it's not that expensive. £25 in the UK. Not a bad price at all for what it does. Now, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Maybe give us a like. You can always add a comment. We're always happy to hear from you. We produce new content every Wednesday. So, look forward to the video. It's coming now. Hey, good afternoon, how are you? Welcome to another Stuck in a Truck Monday Afternoon Live, coming to you from uh, Lim Truck Stop. Um, it's uh, becoming quite regular, this actually, and I'm quite enjoying it. Uh, there's something here that, where's my turn around screeny bit? There you go. Some guys here that will uh, bring back some happy memories. There's a couple of handsome lads in front of me. Um, they're looking very busy. They've got two uh, caravans to deliver. Drivers are on their own and they've got like an escort vehicle behind them, so they are escorted, they're kind of self-escorting, but they haven't got the two men up that they used to have on every delivery, so they're obviously looking out for themselves. Used to really enjoy that work, but I can't say that I miss it that much. So what we're going to talk about today is something that uh, my good friend Chris Taylor uh, shared with me a few months ago now, maybe even six months ago. It's called an electric lunch box And I bought it on Amazon And I will put a link in the description and the comments below so you can go and have a look for yourself um, I was I wouldn't say skeptical, but it was one more gadget that I didn't really need Because I've always carried a slow cooker or a pressure cooker with an inverter but since I've been working sort of with TruckLink and not having my own unit all the time um, it's been very much a question I'm cab hopping everywhere never in the same unit twice sometimes I get a microwave sometimes I don't I ain't lugging microwaves and casserole pots and god knows what so I'm only doing one night out a week and an electric lunchbox is exactly what it says and it's a little electric box, there it is, that's all it is, and it's 240, 12 and 24 volt. You can preload it with your dinner, and I've not washed it since yesterday. And I have spaghetti bolognese in there, and it just all fitted in very nicely. And I knew I was stopping at Kinross Services, so I plugged it in an hour before I was due at Kinross and it wasn't quite hot and I must admit when I took the lid off I was a bit disappointed but A I think I'd overfilled it and B yeah, I was probably being a bit ambitious to be fair and it was all food and no sauce so I give it another 20 minutes I had a bit of a kip and you know what it tasted fucking brilliant absolutely delicious and I'm so pleased I listened to Chris because that is the first hot meal, proper hot meal I've had without filling the cab with smoke and steam and crap from getting the cooker out. 
because in the past if I wanted to heat up my dinner I just get the frying pan and put it on the stove and then it gets burny and sticky and then how do you clean the dinner out and how do you clean your pan out but this look just give it a quick rinse round with a bit of blue cloth um, Chris heats pies up you know he has a night out night with his pies and everything and some baked beans because you get a little pot to go in the corner so he's heating like um, what are those pies you get at chip shops pucker pie a couple of pucker pies in there and some beans or a couple of pucker pies and some uh, spaghetti hoops you can do anything you can literally put anything in it I'd be a bit wary about doing like roast beef or anything stupid like that but if you've had a Sunday lunch and you've got some roast beef and some veg and everything else keep it all together put it in a bit of gravy and it'd warm up perfect I'm sure it would I will experiment but just as a heads up I am totally impressed $24.99 and it's one of the nicest hot dinners I've had forever really gorgeous so yeah there you go an electric lunchbox. Sweet. Speak to you all soon. You take care. Bye-bye.